Hello everyone, welcome to MSJ Standard Institutions. Today we are going to discuss about in this lecture VRF, VRV indoor components. What are the components which we will be finding in the indoor units of a VRF, VRV system? As I said in my previous lectures that a VRF, VRV system has three types. One is cooling, basic cooling type. Second is heat pump VRF. Third is heat recovery VRF. Basic cooling type only cools a building. Heat pump VRF either heats or can cool. At a time it will do one function. At a time it can do one function. Either it can cool the building or it can give heating to the building. Whereas heat recovery VRF will perform two functions simultaneously in two different zones. As in, in this room, if I want cooling, it will provide cooling to it. On my adjacent room, if, if I want heating, it will provide heating and cooling simultaneously. Heat recovery VRF, fine. Heat pump VRF, two pipe system. Heat recovery VRF, three pipe systems. So, in our today class, we will be carrying out all the components of VRF, VRV indoor. What are the components which we will be finding in the indoor, uh, what can I say, scenario in this lecture. In my next lecture, we will be carrying out all the components which are being installed on the outdoor of a VRF, VRV system. All the three, best thing is, I have merged all the three types of VRF, VRV components such that you all can get a perfect overview of each and every component and it's working. Even right after this video, in my upcoming videos, I'll be making the working of each and every single component. I'll make video on every single component, what you are seeing over here in detail, such that every single viewer of my channel must have a complete grip on this particular VRF, VRV centralized DX system. Okay, fine. The first accessory, piping accessories, what are the accessories you'll be finding in the piping of VRF, VRV system? First is Y joint, refinet joint. Two types of connections are there in piping. One is Y joint, okay, the refinet joint. Other is distribution header. Y joints, it's even named as separation tube. What we name it as? Y joint, even we call it as separation tube. Okay, keep in mind one thing which I am telling you all. Separation tube should be before the header. A pipe is going on like this. I said in my previous video also. First, always place a separation tube. Next, at the end of the pipe, go for header. Because after header, you cannot place a separation tube in a particular VRF, VRV piping system. So, whenever a piping, refrigerant pipe is starting, always keep separation tubes. And to the end of the pipe, where you want to attach n number of IDUs, there you give distribution header. First, separation tubes or Y-joint refinet. Next, distribution header. Even you will find Y-joint refinets not just in IDU, in ODU also. Okay, fine. So, I have explained these two things, Y-joint refinet and distribution header. These two are the connections or the accessories of piping. Next is mode control unit. See, mode control unit will be there before the IDUs. Okay, to control the flow of refrigerant to whom so we have to provide cooling to whom we have to provide heating so as per that it circulates the gas and liquid and what can i say low pressure gas also simultaneously with the help of mode control unit in your mode control unit you will be having three headers in your mode control unit you can even see pictures over here of mode control unit of y, y joints of uh, distribution header everything i am giving over here just go with it simultaneously okay so mode control unit has three headers one header is for high pressure gas refrigerant. Second header is for low uh, pressure refrigerant gas header. Then the third one is for liquid. Three headers. One is high pressure gas. Second is low pressure gas. And third one is for liquid. Fine. And to carry out simultaneously heating and cooling mode control unit. Mode control unit in what can I say? 
conjunction with electronic expansion valve work properly. Next, next, let's talk about electronic expansion valve. Electronic expansion valve is a control valve. Okay, what it what it does? One more thing. It is not attached to our IDU. It is separated. It is not within the IDU. It is there in the indoor, not at outdoor. It is there in indoor. For every indoor unit, we have <coughs> EEV, but not attached to it. But max of maximum of seven feet of max length means there is a piping difference. If I am having an electronic expansion, see the figure also. If I am having an electronic expansion valve over here. My IDU will be over here within the max length of what can I say seven feet. So the difference of pipe length difference between an IDU and an EEV is max seven. Go don't go beyond seven feet or go with the equipment catalog. Uh, whatever you are manufacturer who have uh, constructed uh, who have manufactured the uh, what can I say your system. So in general the different the difference pipe length difference. From your IDU to EEV is not max, not beyond seven feet. Okay, we will follow the figure. Next, <coughs> pressure drop modulation kit. See, this pressure drop modulation kit will be used in high-rise buildings. You will not see this pressure drop modulation kit in usual G plus five, G plus six, G plus seven buildings. You will be finding this modulation kit in way in your high-rise buildings. To reduce the resistance of high, uh, reduce the resistance of head pressure, which is acting on your EEV. Okay, for that we will be using pressure drop modulation kit. Don't worry, I'll be making every single video on every single component in detail. You just get a complete overview of these scenarios, all the components. Then let's talk about indoor unit types. I told you that. The very best thing about a VRF VRE system, why this system is a champion, is its variety of indoor units. One outdoor, multiple indoors, multiple different types of indoors for different types of CFM, for different TR understanding, and different different way of air circulation, air distribution. That much feasibility is been given by VRF VRE system. We have different types of IDUs for one ODU. Understanding. Let's carry out what are the different uh, IDUs we are having. Wall mounted indoor units onto the wall we can mount it. Okay. Then ceiling mounted onto the ceiling. Floor ceiling we can mount our IDUs. We can even provide floor mounted columns. So uh, floor mounted column IDU we can even give that. Then three four way CST. CST is nothing but cassette AC. Okay. Four way CST we can provide. Even we can provide this or four way will distribute the. Air ID will distribute cassette AC will distribute the air. Then 360 CST. You will get this 360 cassette in two variants, either in square or in circular. What is the best thing about 360 is it will work in conjunction with your where it is motion detection sensor. Means wherever he is finding a motion of a human, it will circulate the air to that area also. For example, a group of ten people are standing over here. A new person entered into the room. He just that CST, 360 CST, will not just send air to this three ten uh, fellows, twelve fellows, but even to the waiter who is bringing a tea. Understanding. So the air will be circulated by the 360 CST with the help of motion detection sensor. Understanding. Then. Cassette AC, we all know one way, two way, four way distribution of air. Okay, four way CST with ABS cabinet extra. What can I say protection? Four way CST with ABS cabinet. Then some of the advanced features, advanced feature components of our VR VR indoors are S plasma ion kit. This is very uh, what can I say? Very very important for today's uh, living standard. We are all we all are suffering from coronavirus. We are all are suffering from uh, allergens. We are all suffering from bacteria and everything which are residing within our room. So this plasma ion kit will what kills all the bacteria, all the allergens, 
not just even that it will even carry out what can i say minute minute uh, what can i say viruses it will kill by itself with the help of s plasma ion kit which will be installed in your in our indoors of vrf vrv system it kills allergens it kills bacteria it kills all kinds of all kinds of dust particles everything within the air so we will we'll be getting a very hygienic air if we are installing this s plasma ion kit in our vrf indoor next is motion i told about motion detection center it works in conjunction with c360 csd okay drain pump we all know what is drain pump evaporator coil is there ha huh? room air will strike room air is striking this evaporator coil what happens you do it it air air can, can consider room air temperature which is as a return air is of 28 degrees celsius as it strikes the 6 degree refrigerant coil what happens uh, heat is ejected to this coil and the air got cooled which is circulating in the room at a rated temperature of 22 degrees celsius but the air had vapor in it so what is happening when it's striking this coil condensation is taking place vapor to water this water is been accumulated in the drain plate from the drain plate of all the idus this drain pump will take out all the water and give it to the flow trap flow trap plumbing plumbing flow trap from there it will be going to the drainage systems okay this is all about drain pump then erv hrv this two plays a very very vital role okay what those things are erv and hrv these two things heat recovery recovery ventilators energy recovery ventilators what they do let's talk about this first of all heat recovery ventilator whatever the exhaust air is there we are sending off the exhaust air via ventilation okay so what it is doing it is recovering the heat from the exhaust giving it to the supplier with this what is happening we are reducing the load on to the compressor understanding because heat transfer is taking place we are, this is an exhaust air this is the fresh air so there is a heat transfer of exhaust air and given to the fresh air what is happening due to it wherever we require heating automatically prior to heating the air is getting heated up with the help of hrv heat recovery ventilators okay it is what improve it is called as improvisation in the systems then next is er energy recovery uh, what can i say uh, uh, what we call it as energy recovery ventilators right energy recovery ventilators it works on enthalpy it works on enthalpy what is happening here it is not just recovering the air from the exhaust air to and giving it to the fresh air even it is taking out all the moisture content from the exhaust air and giving it to the dry supply air understanding taking out not just heat even the moisture content from the exhaust air which we are exhausting to the atmosphere and giving back to whom to our what can i say to our fresh air dry fresh air with this what is happening the dry air is getting humidified and it is very very helpful for a human to consume that or to inhale that humid air and it will be very helpful to our body with controlled humidification okay that's how this erv hrv works and it's basically it's a sensor which will be kept at your room in your room so as to calculate what is the room temperature right now for that we are using external room temperature sensor at last we are having air handling unit kit if you are applying some air handling units if you are keeping air handling units also which is a, which is an option in vrf vrv even we can place with the help of a hq kit this is the all complete what can i say explanation on vrf vrv indoor components please go through it If these things are very important my next video will be on vrf vrv complete outdoor components i'll give an complete exposure on all the three systems of vrf vrv outdoor we'll talk about okay and after that video 
on every single component of indoor and outdoor i'll be keep on uploading the video so please do like subscribe and share this youtube channel it's very 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 important for every engineer those who are watching technicians those who are watching please do like do subscribe and do share this youtube channel it will give motivation to us so i am sidhi will sign out now thank you everyone